The Mazda 3 2 litre Astina, four cylinder, two litre engine, 121 kilowatts, 210 newton meters of torque, in a four door sedan body. There is also a five door hatch version of this car available as well. Quite a lot of car for your money at 326,000 Rand, as you may see, just taking a look around. Very, very nice lines to this car coming around to a stubby looking boot but a very large boot that can certainly hold your family's luggage and very nice regular shape to it as well split rear seats backrests as well so you can fold them down if you want to increase your load space you have the capacity for doing that as well ever since Mazda have split from Ford in South Africa they've been launching new vehicles on a regular basis and they certainly have upped their game and I think they're making sure that they are very competitive in the market this is one example of that. In the driver's seat of this car you'll see a comfortable place to be starting with the steering wheel. As has become pretty common these days you've got full multifunction steering wheel with controls for your sound system, for your Bluetooth on your phone as well as your cruise control features over here as well. These are backed up of course by your center screen over here which is for your multimedia and infotainment system. There is navigation available not fitted on this car but what is nice is that this screen also incorporates a, a reversing camera. To operate the multimedia you go down to a rotary controller over here which of course works very much like a mouse and you just flick it like that if you want to change things so that is very nice and easy to work with as well. Another unusual feature on this car is a little pop-up screen that comes up when you start the engine and that's actually a heads-up display so your speed is projected onto this little screen over here and you can keep a close eye on what you're doing speed wise quite a different feature on the Mazdas is that they do have a button here which says RVM which switches on side view mirrors and indicators blind spot indicators that actually operate in your two rear view side mirrors so on the freeways you can see when traffic is approaching in your blind spot and there's a great warning system over there this car is also fitted with a stop start function at robots or at stop streets the engine will switch off in the interest of fuel economy and then restart as you take your foot off the brake pedal I have to say one complaint on this car I found the kicking in of the engine when it restarted a little bit harsh in my feel and my opinion. Down here of course six speed automatic gearbox. Very smooth, very nice to use, very easy to drive with as most are these days. When you're pushing on a little bit maybe the shifts get a little bit harsh but it does add to the sporty feel in the car. Let's take a look at what the back seat's like for passengers. Coming into the back seat with a seat, front seat and driver seat set for myself. More than adequate legroom for me. Makes life pretty comfortable. You can imagine two to three passengers in the back. They've got lots of space over here. And more than enough headroom for me wearing my hat as always. Being the top of the range model at this price, a couple of features it does have is full leather trim. Very nice to have as well. And then as a standard on this particular model, there is a sunroof with a blind that closes across it to keep out the glare if you want it that way but a nice extra as well summing up on the car i feel that at 326,000 rand if you're looking for a family sedan in this price range i don't think you should leave the mazda 3 2 liter astina off your shortlist before you make your final decision